Okay, let's get started here. Um, I have three little piles of paper here. And basically what I did, I, I still had leftovers from the Vicki Booten's um, Evergreen and Holly paper pack. And uh, that's what I've been using the scraps from there. So a one inch strip, it's one inch by six inches, but the six inches doesn't matter because I don't think I'm going to use all of these anyways. But cut a one inch strip and then turn it and cut it into one inch squares. And you'll want to be fairly accurate, but if you're out a little bit, I promise nobody will notice. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I, first thing, not the last thing, I want to add some bling. Ta-da! Look at this shine. Oh, you're going to be happy when Christmas is over and I do other cards. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with the dark ones. And oh, first of all, I am going to tape down this card because... Um, it'll be all over the place. The squares are going to move, but I don't want my card panel moving all over the place either. So I'm just going to line it up with the line on my um, table here. And I want to kind of mark off about one inch. Now I'm going to stick my head under because I can see a little bit. Or sorry, a quarter inch, not one inch. Okay, so like a quarter inch. And then the tape is going to hold my card in place so it's not all over the place. Oh, I have a little strip here I can use. <laughs> okay, so let's start putting the squares down. And I'm going to do one, two, three. Three fits good. And then I'm going to go with this color middle, one, two, three, four. And then this color, one, two, three. Um, and I'm just using this to line my tips up because I want to get started on the right track. Okay. Just another little tip is make sure, make sure that your points are st like straight up and down. You don't want them a little bit off to the side because that will kind of throw things out of whack as well. Okay, so that's kind of looking okay. What I'm going to do is somebody recommended that I start using my tweezers instead of using my fingers. And I have three pairs in my craft room here. So I am going to start using them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this one up and put some glue on it. This card is basically, this is just basically putting down all your squares and glue or gluing down all your squares. That's about the most tedious thing. I know it's, I don't laugh at me using these tweezers because I find I pick it up and I use my tweezers. Okay. I'm gonna speed up the video so you don't have to watch me painstakingly put every single piece down.
Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, so I just have to cut a couple of little pieces off. Look how sparkly that is, oh my goodness. But that's not all I'm gonna cut off because I'm gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting and I really don't see any way around it. So back to enjoying some more music. Here we go. I'm just going to get my card panel or my card base, sorry, and put it on here. I'm just going to give it a little smoothing out with my bone folder. This is from, I picked this up at Amazon. It's by Craft Treat. Now I have no idea what brand that is or if it's a name brand or not, but it works great. <clears throat> now I'm going to put this on my card right in the middle you could do it this way too i guess that would be cute too or on an angle you could do all sorts of things anyways okay so let's um glue this down didn't take all that long to make and it's it's not really hard it's just a little bit of gluing just lining things up but like I said, you don't have to have it like super perfect. You don't have to get out your ruler or anything like that. <clears throat> All right. Should be using my tweezers, right, ladies? <laughs> Maybe you can't teach a dog new tricks. An old dog new tricks. Okay, let's just... All right. That is stunning, don't you think? Look at all that bling on there. Okay, so now what I did, I took one of those paper roses, Merry Christmas, um, the Chris Christmas sentiment, you know, the package that has all the different, um, oh, there's hundreds in there. I, I actually made a mat for it out of the silver foil, put on the back, and I think I'm going to put it right in the middle of my card because... I think that looks so cool. Doesn't that look cool? <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my tweezers. There we go. And I'm going to put some glue on. Of course, they're upside down now. Okay, line it up. Um, how I'm lining it up is with the squares that it's on trying to get even on both sides here okay get my piece of paper here and press it down all right is that straight i hope that's straight it kind of looks straight when i look at the square so that's usually my problem okay let's grab some bling because you know i gotta put bling on here right guys okay here's my bling And I know the rule of using odd numbers, so I think, I think I'm going to put maybe five on here. Like, whoops, should be using my tweezers. 
I'm so sorry. I'm not making fun of anybody by any means. It's just I'm kind of clumsy, I guess, in it. And my hand archery. Okay, one, two, three. And let's do a couple on the bottom, like maybe down here. And maybe here. Okay. Wow. I really like this card. How about you guys? Yeah, I'm actually just going to move this bling down a little bit. Bring this one up. Oh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. See, now I'm playing and I should just leave it alone. All right, I'm leaving it alone. <laughs> Great, I love this card. Look how sparkly it is. And it, it's no time at all to make it. So, okay, thank you for watching. Have a great day. We'll talk soon and bye-bye for now.